So today I'm going to talk about a common condition that we see in clinical practice called white coat hypertension. It is sometimes called white coat syndrome. And uh, this is a, a common thing that we encounter, which can sometimes cause a little bit of confusion when we are managing patients with high blood pressure. So many times patients walk into a clinic or a doctor's practice and they come primarily to get their health checkup. And at the time they check their blood pressure and it is high. But when they go home and if somebody has a monitor at home and they get their blood pressure checked by a family member, it is found to be quite normal. So this phenomenon where the patients or individuals blood pressure is high at in a clinic, but it is normal at home is called white coat hypertension. Now, this is believed to be due to the environment surrounding the patient rather than the actual white coat that the doctor is wearing. Most doctors have now taken off their white coats, but it appears that it is the environment of, or a hospital setting that causes the problem. But is it really important? Should we really bother about white coat hypertension? Now, a large proportion of patients or individuals may be commenced on treatment if they are diagnosed by, an, uh, by a healthcare professional to have white coat hypertension, and they may not really need that treatment. But clinical studies have found that white coat hypertension may be associated with an increased risk of heart attacks. But then this is in comparison with individuals who have sustained high blood pressure. So it is an important area that has to be looked at and targeted when managing individuals with such problems. So how can we detect white coat hypertension? Well, there are many times in our practice that we have found that a patient comes, they have high blood pressure in the clinic and they say, oh, my blood pressure is always high in the clinic, but they haven't really gone to the extent of checking their blood pressure at home. So diagnosing white coat hypertension can be a problem. Because sometimes we have to take the word of the, the person in the room, the patient, uh, rather than actually investigate it further. But what we sometimes do is put patients through a test called an ambulatory blood pressure monitor. This is a test where the blood pressure is continuously recorded either on an hourly basis or half hourly basis or two hourly basis using a device called an ambulatory, ambulatory blood pressure monitor. And you can see that in the image over here. Uh, this normally is worn inside the clothes or under the clothes. You can see that there is a blood pressure cuff attached to the arm of the patient, usually attached to the non-dominant arm. That is the arm that they don't normally use all the time. And this is attached through tubing to a device over here, which is no bigger than a pack of playing cards and it is placed in a pouch and hung around the patient's neck or around their waist and this device inflates the cuff every hourly or however it is programmed to do so and at the time the blood pressure is recorded so if an individual needs a 24-hour recording it will record the blood pressure on the hour every hour for 24 hours and at the end of it we get a reading so this is uh, what a normal reading looks like or a reading looks like when you have done the uh, high blood pressure recording through ambulatory blood pressure monitoring. And what you can see over here is and in the clinic, the individual's blood pressure is high. But as soon as they leave the clinic, an hour later or so, the blood pressure starts to come down. And you can also see that in the night, it comes down even further. And this is a good thing. If you see what we call nocturnal dipping in the night, it is a good thing if it is more than 20% of the maximal reading over here. That is a good sign. Now, what you can see later on is as the patient is probably getting ready here to come to the clinic, the blood pressure starts to go up again. And this is just before coming back to the clinic. So you can see that the blood pressure is normal at home, but it is high in the clinic. This means that the patient has got white coat hypertension. So what to do if an individual has white coat hypertension? Well, the first thing doctors did was take off their white coats, but that really didn't help. So in order to confirm if they have true hypertension or not, I usually ask the patient to lie down in the room next to me, uh, next door uh, to my consultation room, and I get the blood pressure checked after 10 minutes of rest. And this time round, when it is a repeat blood pressure recording, I don't I check the blood pressure myself. I often ask a staff member of mine to check it because patients tend to be a little less stressed when they're not with the doctor, but with the staff member. And it has been found, at least uh, from my experience, that subsequent readings have been lower than what they were when the patient was actually in the clinic room itself. Now, if a patient has got high blood pressure or white coat hypertension, there are certain things that can be done to prevent it from becoming sustained hypertension. Practices such as yoga, uh, regular walking or running, or any form of cardio exercise like tennis, basketball, swimming, cycling, uh, Zumba, whatever it is, any sort of aerobic activity can all help bring down blood pressure. 
The Indian diet is very high in salt, so cutting down salt intake can remarkably reduce blood pressure and can be healthy overall for you to do so. And sleeping well, uh, that is getting a good night's sleep for at least six to seven hours a night is a good thing uh, when it comes to managing BP. Poor sleep can lead to overall stress and that can also raise the blood pressure and eventually white coat hypertension can become sustained hypertension. So this is just a brief overview on white coat hypertension. If you wish to have more tips like this, you can visit the website at https heartsense.in or you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, just for any new videos that I may create uh, as time passes. I thank you very much.